everybody. Just here with a interesting sort of, um, I don't know, it's not a review of any particular bat. Uh, just recently a teammate of mine needed some gear and I said to him, oh, why don't you contact somebody uh, overseas and put him in contact with online stockist. And while he was doing his order, I thought oh, I might try one of these blank bats that they do. I contacted uh, Arjit and said, look, could you uh, put together one of your Max Grainer Selects. So this worked out to be about 160 Australian dollars delivered. Comes in a case. Uh, quality typical of something like an SS. So I'll put that over there. It's no, um, there's no branding on it. So they say this is like a grade 2 pro player style bat. And you can instantly see here we've got a mixture of sapwood and heartwood and some grains, uh, pretty much half heartwood. Uh, as far as the travel of the grains down the bat, they're pretty straight on both sides. Back of the bat has a bit of colour on it. You've got some marbling and things like that. There is a pin knot that comes through from here and out here. So there's obviously some sort of branch developing out there. I haven't actually taken it out of the wrapping. So I'll do that now. Nice profile. Very much something like a, I don't know, Kohli or something like that. Just typical Indian style profile. It's a mid-middle. You can see here a very even edge running right up mid-low all the way through to the mid to mid-high position. It's got a little bit of duck bill going on. Uh, square toe with a rubber toe guard. I'll probably remove that. The handle is a semi-oval bottom hand, round top hand, so it's actually quite a nice handle. Good quality grip. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of twist in that handle. Let's check initially the edge profile. So this has a 40 millimeter edge. We'll put it through the gauge to see how it looks and it makes its way through the gauge with a little room to spare. You can see some concaving there. So I estimate it to be probably a 65 millimeter spine with approximately two millimeters of concaving on both sides. So very minimal concaving. I asked for 28 to 29. It feels, feels like it probably needs, I don't know, maybe an extra grip, I'm not sure. This is one thing where the stickers can make a difference. Balance point is a little bit lower. Feels like 2.9 to me. Uh, I will measure now the spine. So that says about 64. I can't actually find my calipers, so not very organized at the moment, but there's a bit on my plate, so I apologize for that. As far as toe thickness goes, I'm expecting this to be about 25 and it's about 25, 22.8 at the edges and should be about 16 at the top which is about right. A very typical sort of profile, it's got a tiny little bit of bow, those edges have been left, well there's been an attempt to actually bone them slightly but it's a full, if there is any camber on it it's very minimal maybe two millimetres over there in India, sometimes when they get their monsoons and that's the build up, it's very hard for them to get lower weights. So that's 173 grams, which is at the highest side, 294. So it's a big bat. If you had stickers on this, this would feel like a 210 to 210 and a half. So yeah, not, not bad actually, not bad. Probably for me, I would maybe look at some counterweight but that's just about it. Let's uh, tap it up and uh, make an assessment of what the performance might be like. So I can hear immediately at the toe say a medium press and form pretty much from a mid-high position, go really well from that mid, mid-low, especially mid-low, and it 
it's got a fair bit left at the tow too, so nice. And uh, yeah, $160 delivered, so I'm pretty happy with that. Because there's no branding on it, I can make some changes if I need to. Let's check the width, and the width is a little bit narrow to give you a much bigger, fuller looking bat, rather than take out the concaving. So there you go, that's a look at an online Stockus Max Grainer Select. So in the end I did make some changes to the bat. Um, I put more of a duck bill on it that you'll see in the photos. I also put a Laver and Wood style rounded uh, corner toe on it with some camber. It made a few uh, changes, it got the weight down scuffed to 2.91. Um, which I was quite happy with. A young uh, kid named Carl Scott uh, contacted the page first saying uh, he wanted access to the bat, came down with his dad and he was really happy, uh, said that he followed the page. So it's a win-win for everybody. He gets a bat that's fully knocked in, scuffed, polished, the whole deal um, and I get my cost back so I'm really happy with that. Uh, so I hope he makes some runs with it um, and look for $160 delivered from uh, online stockers it's pretty good value, um, but it's, you know, I know this will annoy some of the guys trying to make bats here in Australia, but look, I keep an open mind and I'm not going to be partisan to any particular point of view. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.